Hey, good day everyone. How's it going? This is Sean David. Welcome back to the show. Let's talk some old school basketball. One of the most hated and beloved players of the 1990s was and is Reggie Miller. And I definitely wanted to do a video for such a long time, which is why today I want to take a look at, at the incredible rivalry between Reggie Miller and Michael Jordan. But before we start with this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I would say, let's get right to today's episode. You're not nervous if you tell a story about Jordan? Well, if it's true, I got in a fight with Michael Jordan yeah. in my building. He instigated it, he took the swing, and I get kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed at him, he swung at me, maybe connected, and then the officials huddle up in, in Marcus Square <laughs> Arena. I get ejected, he goes on to score 42, he probably would've had 45 if I would've stayed in the game. But <laughs> how does that happen? Now, in order to fully understand the rivalry between Reggie Miller and Michael Jordan, we have to dig a little bit deeper and see why is Reggie Miller Reggie Miller. Let's have a look. Reggie Miller was born on the 24th of August in 1965, Riverside, California. Coming from a military family, Reggie had to understand really fast that at home, he was not in charge. The only place where he could really speak his mind was on the basketball court, but this is exactly also where he had his biggest challenge. His older sister, Cheryl Miller, was known to be the best female player in the area and later would also become the best female player in the country. No matter how hard Reggie tried, he could never beat her. But this is exactly where he got his competitive drive from. A lot from the beatdowns. Cheryl was tough. Very tough. So I'm one on one after this. I would kill him. I love killing Reggie. Yeah. And dad would come out, don't hit your brother and all that kind of stuff, but he was just that annoying. I was first known as Cheryl Miller's brother and I have had to overcome that, but I think now people are about ready to see who the real Reggie Miller is. Oh, nice Pretty hesitation. Pretty by Reggie Miller. Cheryl can do that also. He learned that from Cheryl. I know he learned that from <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> Even when Reggie Miller became a great cottage star, people compared him to his older sister, which made him even more determined to become the best player he can be. So when he entered the NBA in 1987, he quickly wanted to prove the entire world that he was more than the younger brother of Cheryl Miller. And it was exactly this kind of mentality and mindsetting that started the whole rivalry with Michael Jordan and Reggie Miller. When Reggie Miller was a rookie and had an exhibition game against Michael Jordan, you would think that he would be quiet and just play his game. But that was not Reggie Miller. I'm not the biggest of guys. I may be tall, but I'm only, when I came into the league, I was only 175, 180 pounds. So I wasn't the biggest or strongest guys. I needed to have a little bit of an edge. My mouth was my edge. <laughs> my rookie year, uh -huh. we were playing the Chicago Bulls, and this is Michael Jordan's third or fourth year in. Okay. And we were playing the next exhibition game in some obscure place. And most veterans do not like to play in exhibition games. They want to get to the real thing. I'm a wide-eyed, energetic rookie, and we're playing this exhibition game, and Michael's going through the motion. And Chuck Person, who's on my team, who's a trash talker as well, is like, can you believe Michael Jordan, the guy everyone's talking about, who's supposed to be able to walk on water? You're out here killing him, Reg. This is in the first half. He's <laughs> like, you should be talking to him. He's like, you know, you're right, Michael. Who do you think you are? <laughs> The great Michael Jordan. That's right, there's a new kid on town, right? He kind of looks at me and starts shaking his head. So at half, I have 10 and he has four points, right? And I'm doing all this talking. He's like, okay. End of the, end of the game in the second half, he ended up with 44. <laughs> and I ended up with 12. <laughs> As he's walking off, he's like, be sure and be careful. You never talk to black Jesus like that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, when Reggie Miller entered the NBA, he was not a superstar right from the start. He had to wait his turn and actually came off the bench. So when he played against Michael Jordan in the first regular season game, people didn't know that Reggie Miller and Michael Jordan could be a rivalry of the future. But Reggie was, let's say, not bad for starters. Let's have a look. I mean, they're kids, they're rookies, doing a great job. Indiana with a rebound, Ray's got to get it up. 11 seconds to play in the game. Indiana trails by four. Give it a Reggie. Reggie, three-pointer on the way. It looks good. Yeah, good. One-point game. Three seconds, four seconds to play. 
They get it in. They throw it away. Indiana's got, got it. got a chance. And no time has expired. Indiana, they'll take their 20. 110, 109. <laughs> Can you believe it? Is that 15 seconds is a long time. Reggie Miller with the three. Indiana takes their 20. 110, 109. This would be a miracle. Reggie wants the ball. There he is. Here's the, here's the three-pointer by Reggie. Now watch him fake Michael out of play. Here it comes. Ba-boom, baby. <laughs> Ba-boom. Ba-boom. Even though Reggie Miller came off the bench and only played 22 minutes, he scored 20 and had that game-winning shot. Michael Jordan obviously also had a great performance, scoring 37 points, but it's incredible that Reggie Miller was ready for the challenge even in his rookie season, helping Indiana Pacers with a massive comeback to win the game. For the remaining games of Reggie's rookie season, he was not able to put up the same numbers, but already in his second season, every once in a while, Reggie was putting up a real fight. Oh, did I just mention a real fight? One on two, one on three, who oh, couldn't get it? And put back home a dead ball. Now Michael Jordan and Reggie Miller having a go at it. And I mean, we got fist rolling, here come the benches. Bo Hill is out there, uh -oh. Bill Jackson's going out there, there will be fines handed out all over the place here. But more importantly, what in the world ignited this? I didn't catch it. I didn't either, Reggie Miller is irate. Greg Dryling is the guy that's holding him back right now. Now as we know, the 1990s were dominated by the Chicago Bulls. Even though there were many great teams in the Eastern Conference, they were not able to surpass the Bulls. But in 1998, the Indiana Pacers really came close and even took it to seven games. And Reggie Miller was a major part of this and had one of the most iconic playoff shots in NBA history. Jordan is on best. Harper's on Miller. McKee. Gets it in the middle for the win! It's four tenths of a second! Yeah, you can dance, Reggie! One of the greatest clutch playoff performers of his generation has apparently done it again. In that particular play, I was so upset that Chicago had come back because I thought we had control of that game the whole way and you know Steve and Scotty and Steve were fantastic down the stretch and I was so upset that they had taken the lead, the lead and I knew what the play was and I knew most of the times when the game is running down the officials like to swallow their whistle as they call it they're not going to call a foul especially an offensive foul so I knew they were going to switch because Ron Harper was guarding me and I knew I was going to come up and I knew Michael was going to switch on to me so I was going to just shove them out the way because they weren't going to call a foul you know what, this is great. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad to finally hear this from you. You've never admitted that before. What did I admit? I just shoved him out the way. It wasn't a foul. Of course it was a foul. You shoved him out of the way. Throughout their entire career, Michael Jordan and Reggie Miller play a total of 49 times against each other. Michael Jordan won 32 times and Reggie Miller 17. If you take a closer look on their stats, you can see that Michael Jordan averaged a little bit less points than his career average, which is pretty easy to explain since the Indiana Pacers defense was always great. But still I want to give Reggie Miller some credit because he was really putting up some great battles. Even until today, Reggie Miller has a lot of respect for Michael Jordan and also says that MJ was the best player he has ever witnessed. But I also found a very interesting clip where Reggie Miller describes their relationship. Michael Jordan, what do you remember about playing him when you guys were on the floor and he was guarding you and you were guarding him and they had, I'm sure, some terrific shootouts over the years between just the two of you? You know, looking back over 18 years, you'd have thought that Michael and I, the Bulls and the Pacers, would have played more than once in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. We only played once and it was that epic seven game series. You're measured by your competition. He is clearly, and in my opinion, the best basketball player I've ever seen to date. And I knew that I had to bring it each and every time I stepped on the court when I was going against MJ. Were you friends? No, we weren't friends. Talked to each other on the floor? He might've been the one player I didn't talk to. Really? Yeah because he might have been the one player who could really embarrass you. <laughs> <laughs> and he could come back at you pretty yes, good too. <laughs> yeah, he could come right back at you. I wanted what he had, him being the best, mm. the championships. So I watched, I listened, and I tried to learn a lot. 
All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you next time. Peace. I'm out.